Girl, hey. So, I was thinking, <clears throat> and I realized that I've never done a legit vlog. Like, isn't that weird? On this vlog channel, I've never done an actual, like, sit down, talk about whatever I want to talk about vlog. Like, what? I don't even know how that's possible. I just do random videos and tags and stuff, so this is going to be a vlog. Um, I am not looking forward to my driving test. Because, okay, my birthday is exactly two weeks from today. 14 days, May 29th. Because today is Sunday, May 15th. So in two weeks, I will be 16. But I don't really care about being older. I don't want to be older. I just want to be able to drive. Um, I'm so excited just to, like, drive by myself and go where I want to. And I can stop places on the way home from school because I can't now because I ride a bus. And I don't know. It's just going to be so much fun. Just, like, blasting music. Hey! Everyone in my class is older than me. Not everyone. There's some that are younger than me, obviously. But since my birthday is at the end of the school year, like, literally everyone I know drives. Well, I'm worried. I think I'm taking my written test this week. Like, Thursday or something. I don't know. Because where I live, at least, you can take your written test a month before your birthday. Um, so I think we're going to do that. Because just in case I fail, um, I want to be able to have more time to take it over again. And, yeah. Because I am actually worried about failing. I don't even know. I'm more worried about the actual driving part. Because, like, one little thing could totally make you fail your test. And you have to wait, like, a month if you fail your test. And I'm not looking forward to that. It's just, like, so much pressure in one drive with this instructor sitting next to you. Ooh, I don't know. Like, it feels like everyone waits, like, their whole life to take their driving test. Like, it's just a defining moment. And I feel like I'm going to fail. I don't know. I think what would make me fail is not the fact that I'm not capable of doing it, just the fact that I'd be so nervous. Like, I have never argued with my parents as much as I have recently because of this whole car fiasco. Um, my brother has his license. He just got it. He's 18, and he just got his license, like, last month because he doesn't really care. He doesn't really want to drive. Like, I, I want to get it, like, the day of, except I'm not going to get my license the day of because my birthday's on Sunday, so that won't work. And Memorial Day's the day after, so that won't work either. So I have to wait till Tuesday, May 31st. But I told my mom to schedule my appointment, but I don't know what she has yet. Anyway, so, yeah, he hasn't wanted to drive. So we never got a car for him because he just got his license, and he doesn't even, like, need, I don't know, he doesn't, he's just, you know those people that just are lazy, then they don't really care, that's him. So he doesn't really advocate that he wants a car or anything, but of course I do. So me and my mom have looked at literally like every car around our area and online and everything like that. And my dad's just been really frustrating lately. He's, at first he's like, yeah, we're not going to buy you a car. And then I got all upset and it was this big deal. And then he's like, if we bought a car, it'd be a family car. I was like, really? You just made me go through all this frustration and you were actually going to buy a car. You just were going to call it a family car. Like, that doesn't matter to me. He just like made it a big deal and it was really annoying. And then, last night, he went to my mom and he's like, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea if we buy another car right now. And even, like, as a family car. And I was so annoyed. Just, like, because we have two minivans. One of them is all messed up. Well, not messed up, but it's really, like, old and blah. And that's his car. And the other one is a newer minivan. That It's still a minivan. Like, I don't want to drive a minivan. <laughs> um, and, like, even if we only had two cars, like, my mom wouldn't have a car because I'd be driving her to school and then they'd be sharing that and then I don't even know it just like wouldn't even work so I don't know what he's thinking but and I I know that it's gonna take forever to actually decide on a car and go through the process of getting it and everything so I know I know that I should not rely on actually receiving a car at any time in the near future like honestly I'll be surprised if we even get one before next school year um, in September but I would really 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 love to have one for at least the summer for like work and stuff and where I go with my friends and stuff or I don't know but I just feel like it'd be so much better if I had a car of my own I mean obviously it's still a family car but my brother wouldn't really drive it because he's going to college in the fall and um I'd be the only one using it because my parents both have cars and my brother doesn't really drive so I mean I don't know it's just like really confusing I'm sorry I've been braiding my hair this whole video because it's a bad habit of mine but you know I'm sorry if it's been bugging you. I know it bugs people when they play with your hair, but when I'm talking and stuff, it just happens, so. In other news, um, I'm going to be gone from YouTube and gone from, like, everything internet for a month in the summertime, which is, like, June 25th to July 24th or 23rd or something like that. 
because I am going to camp. Woohoo! Um, except like I am a counselor in training at camp. It's my second year of training and then like at the end of the summer I graduate from training and then next year I'll be an actual counselor. So um, I'm going to be there for four sessions but the thing is like they're a week long sessions so I get to come home for um, the Saturday night in between each week. So I'll try my best to film each Saturday night and put a video up like so I'll at least have one every weekend but I don't really know how that's going to work out um because I'm, I'm gonna be really tired like a week of camp I'm just gonna want to come home and sleep and like watch videos and stuff um I'm just gonna be way behind but we'll see but I'm really excited for camp too because I love it there and, and oh what for my birthday I'm also asking the only thing I'm asking for besides a car is this lighting set um it's Cowboy Studio something or other. Hello Katie XO recommended it to one of my other friends that I just I just stole her recommendation off Twitter. But um, they look really nice and they're only like sixty dollars for like photo lamps and photo lights and stuff. So I think they'd be really really nice to have my videos. And then I can finally switch my filming spot because the only reason I film here is because I'm right in front of the window, so it's good lighting. But everywhere else just doesn't work. So. I think if I get those and I'm going to change my filming spot probably to like in front of my bed or something because I really like that background a lot better than like my whole room. I don't know. But hopefully that'll work out and then I can film like anywhere that I want in my room. I guess that's all I really wanted to talk about. Comment below if you have taken your driving test and tell me what it is like even though I know it varies from state to state and stuff but in general. Um, yeah so wish me luck. <laughs> I'm sorry I've been neglecting this channel. It's kind of a failure but... I'm trying to get into the swing of vlogging more, and oh my gosh, another thing I'm so excited about driving is car vlogging. Like, I'll be able to be one of those awesome people like Kayla or Cece or Morgan has done one of those, where they just vlog in their car while they're driving, even though it's probably just as dangerous as talking on the cell phone, but I'll find a way to like prop my camera somewhere where I won't have to hold it and I can just talk. Oh, and I bought a glitzy kind of keychain. Hold on, let me show you. Ellen Blair store shop glitzyglam.com. I bought one of their keychains because when I have a car I obviously have to have something to hold my keys on. And I love it. It's so cute. I really, really like it. Um, it I got the polka dot one except I didn't want to get an initial because I thought it looked kind of tacky. Just my opinion. Um, but it has a little keychain and I'm so excited to put my keys on it and just like when I'm running into the store or something I can just like throw it on my wrist or hold it because everyone at my school has like really long lanyards like around their necks and stuff. Um, for their keys, their car keys, but I feel like I'll be, I'll stand out, well not really stand out, but I'll be different because I'll have one of these keychains instead of like a long lanyard, but it's so cool, I'm so excited to drive. I'm just getting way ahead of myself, I know, but I'll just like put a house key and I'll get a copy of my mom's car key and stuff on it, so it won't be barren until I get a car, but I'll leave those keys anyway, so yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'll talk to you guys later, bye, peace out.